is still in pretty poor shape. How thoughtful of them! The Crassula ovata, also known as the jade plant, money tree, lucky tree, or friendship tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Excellent! The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. You know, once we get the sink fixed... Well, this looks like the place. Assuming 
assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice, authentic touch. Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? <laughs> the atmosphere is certainly exciting. I'm particularly impressed by some of the more subtle effects the music and lights are having on your autonomic nervous system. Let yourself get too entranced, at least not until we've achieved our goal. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Yes, can I help you? Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to Kitty Cruising. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. Really? Why, pray tell? Mm -hmm. 
thought so. Look, asshole, I'll explain this once. You want to talk about the hybrid thing? Cool. No one's trying to hide it. And you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. But jokes, puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. We don't all have the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. If you try to pet me, your arm is coming off. We clear? Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, all right, whatever. Just get moving. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. Haha, <laughs> what'll it be?
So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in that? Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Does that sound good? Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Now, what is it you need to know? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Hayden, scientist guy, does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Majee. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. So, what do you want to know? That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But, I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. Ha! After two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. We got some regulars around, they started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. Mostly got myself into trouble. When I emigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular, peaceful. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck! Enjoy yourself, and don't be a stranger. What? Why should I care about that? She wants to talk to you. share flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> so, 
To what do I owe the pleasure? Hayden's missing. Well, it's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Do you know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in Lips, Puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. Oh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs, within range, and they share all files the user hasn't tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like NeoSF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pipes. <laughs> Yuck. avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, whew, that might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but... He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Oh, sure! <laughs> you might have even heard of me in the news way back when. About ten years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. Ooh, that was one hell of a stink if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. I earned myself an enforced net blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. Huh? See if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth. And now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. 
normal mouse is like sometimes. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. Probably North Carolina, dog. Sure, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Lots of clothes. I had to get a third walk-in closet. Oh, don't you worry about Jess, huh? She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Because, uh, it will. Whew, they are. Especially the hybrids, though I think it's more the way they look than the way they act. Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. Well, she does owe me a favor, or three, but I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? <laughs> Real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. Good luck. Turin, you, you keep out of trouble. 